U.S. military officials are now warning China that they're going to respond to any provocative acts by their Coast Guard or by these militia fishing boats in the same way that they react to the Chinese Navy. And they're saying that this is an effort to curb Beijing's aggressive behavior in the South China Sea around many different areas like the Parcel Islands, other little island regions. Some locations were not even islands. They were like very shallow water and they went in there and they built it up into a runway or to some type of fortification. Now, they have been messing with all types of boats coming through the South China Sea here recently. And the problem is that this is a major worldwide shipping lane. And they don't seem to be respecting any other country that needs to go through these shipping lanes. So Taiwan, not happy. Vietnam, not happy. The United States, Philippines, they've all been messed with or taunted as they've gone through these waters. And a lot of it has been through these militia fishing boats. I find this interesting. They call it their type of Coast Guard or their maritime militia. They are fishing boats that work with the military. They're different from the Chinese Navy. They come out unmarked. They have real deal fishermen on them with nets and everything else, but they also have guns, water cannons, and other things. And they're being utilized to try to run all these different boats off without having to roll out military vessels. Because once you roll out the military vessels, it's obviously a confrontation if you're dealing with other military vessels. So at this point, the United States is saying, hey, We've been dealing with these guys coming up and harassing us, but not no more. They're going to treat them like any other military vessel, which to me means they can get fired on real quick. And if the United States is taking this stance, I bet others do too. And we'll start to see exactly how many other countries start banding together going through this region with all their ships just to make sure everything gets through safe. And if you have the United States, the Philippines, Taiwan, all of them sending ships at the same time through this area, it's going to be pretty hard for China to get away with doing much at that point. But this is where it sits. Wanted to run the update in case we see something pop off in the South China Sea. I'll leave a link below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for more. This has been Dabu7. Peace out.